For almost a decade, because of its electric car and new battery technologies, Tesla has been in a unique position in the industry. Elon Musk is infamous, not just for his grand ambitions and scale of visions for his company, but also for his interest in the production and manufacturing of electric vehicles and batteries. However, if there is one challenge that Musk faces when creating faster electric vehicles with more mileage, it's batteries. Tesla has unveiled its interest in making this difficult to produce next level tabless batteries that could improve an electric car's range and power. The battery is expected to lower Tesla's cost per kilowatt hour, the unit of energy most commonly used to measure the capacity of a battery pack in modern electric vehicles. If achievable, these battery cells could be groundbreaking. But the jury is still out, and the question on a lot of people's mind is, how deliverable are these new 4680 batteries? Tesla cars are powered solely by the electrical charge stored in the batteries and are termed battery electric vehicles, or EVs. The reason for the existence of Tesla as a company is simply that lithium-ion batteries have the highest charge capacity of any practical battery formulation in history and are high enough to make EV practical. The idea of using lithium-ion rechargeable battery cells was first proposed by a British chemist in the early 1970s. Battery cells are deceptively simple devices, consisting of three basic components, two electrodes, the negative anode, and the positive cathode, separated by a chemical soup called the electrolyte. Tesla has been using 18650 cells manufactured by Panasonic in Asia in the Model S and X cars since 2013. Every year in September, Tesla holds its annual Battery Day event, where they talk about the latest technological advancement in batteries. As part of Tesla's update call, held with the release of the quarterly financial results on Monday, CEO Elon Musk delivered an update about the 4680 format cells. Tesla didn't hold back on Battery Day as they announced a new revolutionary tabless 4680 battery, amongst other things. The new form factor eliminates the tab, increases energy density, and maintains similar thermal characteristics of smaller cells, improving the power-to-weight ratio and streamlines manufacturing at a lower cost. In other words, the new Tesla 4680 cell is the equivalent of bringing a potato gun to a french fry fight. The 4680 battery cell in a single unit is 46 millimeters wide and 80 millimeters tall. The greater overall size allows for more electrical energy storage, five times the energy storage compared to the 2170 battery that was used in the production of the Model 3 and Y. With all the different variations of batteries out there, Tesla opted to refine an existing platform that involved simpler manufacturing, fewer parts, and five times reduction in electrical parts. The new cells are designed without tabs and have shorter pathways for the electrons to travel. They're also simpler to build with fewer parts. What this means is that it offers five times the energy, six times more power, and a 16% increase in range with just this form factor change alone. The tabless architecture of the new 4680 cells also has a direct impact on improving manufacturability. Not only does it eliminate the need for a tab, but it also eliminates the need for the production lines to pause to add tabs. This new tabless cell gets rid of this bump in the road, enabling the manufacturing line and making it less prone to producing defects as it hums along, producing and seamlessly rolling up massive 4680 cells. The number one fear a consumer has when it comes to batteries has been the range anxiety, the fear of running out of power. The Tesla 4680 battery is a huge game changer in the manufacturing of electric cars with five times more energy, which means less range anxiety and more drive time. One of the key requirements for the electric car batteries, especially on road trips, is that they need to be recharged relatively quickly, and the tabless design of the 4680 creates a shorter pathway for electrons to travel, which means that even though you have a larger unit, you still have a battery with more power in and out, resulting in a shortened charge time, fewer stops on the road trip, and a more enjoyable experience. That sounds pretty amazing, right? The actual thought that one day having an ultra-fast car that charges in 10 minutes and can take me a thousand miles is fantastic. Last September, Musk said he wants to put a $25,000 EV on the road as part of Tesla's update call held with the ideas of quarterly financial results Monday. CEO Elon Musk delivered an update about the 4680 format cells. According to Elon, Tesla expects to reach mass production of 4680 battery sales in 2022. Tesla's CFO, Zachary Kirkham, emphasized that the transition from the prototype to production is truly a difficult task, 
But at the moment, the company has already ordered most of the manufacturing equipment in Berlin, which shows that the company is optimistic about the timeline. This means that Elon Musk and his team of manufacturers are serious and very optimistic to start mass production of the 4680 batteries in Berlin next year. We know for now that the company has acquired a lot of land, twice the size of a soccer field, and this just might be the place where the 4680 battery production would be housed. All things being equal, Musk said that Tesla would be ready to start volume production of 4680 cells in 12 to 18 months. Last year, Tesla shipped nearly 5,000 electric cars and set a target of 750,000 for 2021. However, these cars can only be shipped if they had a battery in them. But according to the forecast, the growth rate in the current production of batteries would not be able to match Tesla's growth ambitions, and this would create a problem along the line. What this simply means is that a time would come when Tesla would finish manufacturing its vehicles, but would need to wait for the batteries to be finished up before installing them. And this is a situation that Tesla wants to avoid at all costs. Tesla aims to grow consistently at a rate of 40 to 50% per year. And to do that, it's going to need more and more batteries. Musk even acknowledged at a European battery conference in November, when speaking on the challenge of mass producing 4680 cells, that Tesla had produced the battery, quote, at bench top level and was aiming to have it at pilot plant level soon. But scaling up to the production process is much harder than proving something out on a bench. However, this does not deter the company as Tesla moves to launch production in Grenheide by 2022. Tesla aims to submit their application for a vote to the production of battery cells in Grenheide to German authorities by July of 2021 at the latest. According to the corresponding video report, the production start for the cells in Grunheide is targeted for 2022. Tesla will most likely use the new 4680 battery format for some of its new models, including the Cybertruck and the electric Tesla Semi. The new cells are difficult to make and require a state-of-the-art craftsmanship, says Panasonic. Panasonic Corporation is betting that a close to century of experience manufacturing car batteries has prepared it to manufacture difficult to produce next-gen batteries championed by Tesla as the key to unlocking cheaper and more ubiquitous electric vehicles. However, other battery manufacturers are also interested in the 4680 formats, and the Japanese company thinks that its massive experience in battery production, including the know-how to produce 2.5 small cylindrical cells annually without major safety issues, gives them an advantage over competitors. The improvements made with this particular 4680 battery are getting us one step closer to a less petroleum-dependent environment. Although, one of the worst things about battery production is the environmental impact. Mining for cobalt and making batteries is a dirty business. However, with the introduction of the new 4680 batteries, the use of coal is all but eliminated and at least 90% recyclable. The cobalt has been replaced with nickel, which offers the same energy density. The new 4680 batteries are less harmful to the environment and the actual production process is less cumbersome. Paired with water reduction efforts in the process, you can now get a better battery and the result would be a cheaper EV for everyone. Tesla's new 4680 battery is a significant step in the right direction, as it is not only more prominent, but the internal structure is also different. The laser pattern shingles offer a shorter part for electrons to flow, and even though you have a larger cell, you have a battery with more power internally and externally, which ultimately shortens the charge time. Tesla has improved the efficiency and capacity of its battery, reduced the cost of production, and the time taken for production. With its tabless structure, as noted earlier, a time-consuming step that involved the inserting of the tab itself inside the battery has been eliminated, which simply means more battery in less time. So guys, I hope with this video, I've been able to explain everything you need to know about Tesla's new 4680 battery. Thanks for watching. Bye.